Hey everybody, welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. I am so thrilled that you're here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for continuing to follow this podcast and to share it with your friends. So today we are gonna talk about how to eat healthy when everyone around you isn't. So I have seven strategies to help you eat healthy while others are not. This can be really challenging sometimes, especially when you go out to a restaurant for dinner, your first thoughts are usually, oh no, I cannot go out to eat. There are so many temptations and I just don't think I can stick to the diet I started. This is way, 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 way too common for women who are trying to lose weight. Of course, if we wall ourselves off in our houses, we can be successful in our weight loss efforts until we venture outside. Maybe that statement may not be 100% true because at this recording, we are in, uh, we are still, meaning me and my family, are still kind of self quarantining. So, in the middle of COVID, and um, you know, the numbers are going down, but now they're kind of creeping back up. So, maybe being walled up in our house, maybe we can't always be successful in our weight loss efforts. But regardless, if you're struggling to go out and eat in public, a restaurant or a party just because the temptation is so prevalent there are so many pressures there are other people watching you there are other people eating whatever they want there are people coming up to you and asking you why aren't you eating the cake or why aren't you drinking certain foods and if you've been on the diet roller coaster the last thing you want to do is tell them that you're trying this quote-unquote diet thing again how to eat healthy when everyone around you isn't Number one, you have to ditch the dieters mentality. You really need to dive deep into the all or nothing mentality and definitely ditch the word diet from your vocabulary. I talked about it before. The diet is really the definition is what food and drink is regularly provided or consumed. And that is from Merriam Webster dictionary. <laughs> Unfortunately, diet, the word has turned into also, this is a definition, a regimen of eating and drinking sparingly so as to reduce one's weight. When you hear the word diet, you probably think of deprivation and sacrifice, never eating your favorite foods again, and who wants that? It does not sound exciting, right? So really focusing in on how you can get out of that dieter's mentality. Number two, you wanna set yourself up for success. Yes, you obviously need to make some changes because if you don't make changes, you're going to stay exactly where you are. But if you can decide that you're willing to compromise on what you can do without, that is where the key is. So when you're setting up what you will and won't eat, be honest about what you can realistically do at this current moment. So if you decide that you will only have dessert one time a week and that feels like something that you can do, start with that. If you can go out and eat and tell yourself you're only going to have a salad, but you're dreaming of a bacon cheeseburger with fries and dessert, you're going to have some serious thoughts of deprivation, especially if the person next to you orders a burger with bacon and fries and dessert. Make your small goal achievable. Number three, order what you really want. You can lose weight and still eat your favorite foods. It just might not be in the same portion sizes that you normally would have. If you want the bacon cheeseburger, you have options. You can get it without the bun. There's a lot of times that I will want a burger and I just eat it with a knife and fork and I don't order the bun, or you can get it wrapped in lettuce so you can hold it and eat it. You can also eat half the burger and take the rest home for lunch tomorrow or for dinner. You can cut the burger in half and share it with your friend who's there. So there's many options that you have to deciding on you know what you really want to eat like desserts depending on where you're getting your dessert like if you go to the cheesecake factory those cheesecakes are like i don't know four servings they're huge so if you can portion them out get the waitress or the waiter to bring over to go container before you even start eating it that is also a technique that i use a lot to kind of not have it on the table since you have options don't feel like it's i either have to have a salad or i can have the burger you can have both number four negotiate with yourself so i do this all the time if I'm eyeballing a delicious dessert, then I'm going to have a healthy entree like grilled chicken or broccoli with yam fries or some other complex carb. And then I get to have the dessert. It does not need to be all or nothing. Number five, your goal needs to be bigger than your desire for certain foods. 
Let me read that again. Your goal of weight loss needs to be bigger than your desire for foods. To win at the fat loss game, it's all about delayed gratification and choosing to eat healthy. Don't give in to the instant pleasure that the dessert, the bread, the pasta, or whatever your thing is offers. It's just going to keep you on the same path you're on now. You can have that food anytime you want. We live in an age where you can order something from across the world and have it in two days. We have a app that you can type in on your phone and a person will come and deliver you food from a local restaurant. Food is in abundance. You need to have a goal that's going to override your instant gratification so you can get to your ultimate goal. A lot of times, you know, even though I'm an expert in this field, there are times when I am like conflicted, like, should I eat this? Well, if I eat this, then it's going to prevent me from getting to my goals or it's going to push me back a couple days or whatever thoughts are running through your head. You need to want the goal more than you want the food. Number six, the most important thing, your thoughts are making you feel something, whether it's deprivation or sacrifice. And as simplistic as it sounds, it really is about what you're thinking about. There's a great quote by Henry Ford, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. That quote says it all. What are your thoughts about your weight loss plan? Do you think it's going to be hard? Do you think you can't go out and eat because you can't trust yourself around restaurant food? These are the things that you need to think about. And if you need help, this is what I work on with my clients. Not just nutrition, not just movement and fitness, but also the mindset. You need to make sure that you are in the right mindset for losing weight. Because if you're not, you're just going to keep repeating the same pattern over and over and over again. And this is where that dieter's mentality comes in. This is where the yo-yo dieting comes in. You will continually repeat. <laughs> like there's another saying, what is the definition of insanity? And it's repeating the same thing over and over again. If you're ready to get off the roller coaster, get some help. Hire me to help you guide you through your weight loss journey. My programs are not about quick fixes. They are lifestyle changes. They're for the woman who wants to lose 40 or more pounds. For the woman over 40 years old who thinks she can't do it. I can help you. If you're interested in learning more, grab a free consult where we're going to find out where you are, where you want to go, and how to fill in that gap in between. And you can go to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat with Nicole and schedule a free consult with me. And honestly, if you've been spinning your wheels that long, I recommend you do it now. Go to the website now, shapeitupfitness.com slash chat with Nicole, N-I-C-O-L-E. Get your consult in. The worst case that will happen is we'll talk for an hour. You will have an idea of where you need to go and we part. So number seven is you have a choice as to what you are going to eat. So if you're sitting with other people and they're eating foods that will not help you on your weight loss journey, that is their decision. It has nothing to do with you. What people choose to put on their plate, what people choose to eat has absolutely nothing to do with you. If you have thoughts like, I can't eat that, that's a clue that your dieter's mentality is kicking in. And it's also your primitive brain having a temper tantrum. <laughs> Um, if you followed me for any length of time, you know, I talk about your primitive brain and your sophisticated brain and that primitive brain is strong and it's going to make you feel like crap pretty much. And the more you can tap into that sophisticated brain, the easier it will be to get to your weight loss goals. Giving into your primal fit, you know, that brain having a temper tantrum will not get you closer to your weight loss goals. Instead, again, focus on that sophisticated brain, which makes more rational decisions and it helps you get to your goals a lot faster and it helps you eat healthy while others don't. If you enjoyed this episode, I want to invite you to book a call with me. Again, it's an absolute free consult. It's 60 minutes long. We're going to chit chat and see what exactly is stopping you from getting what you say you want to get. You can head there at shapeitupfitness.com slash chat with Nicole. All right. That's all for me today. Have a wonderful week and I will talk to you next week.